Welcome back to Becky Amy Horse Training, and I wanted to share this video as bonus footage as to why we need to prioritize the footwork first when we're starting to specialize in obstacle training on our horses. After they've become fairly proficient with the basic handle, then it's time to start specializing. I go ahead and try to turn this first barrel as if it's the first barrel in our pattern and change leads leaving it. Instead, he only changes the front. Let's look at the two stills. The correct one with green arrows shows the left front in unison with the left hind. When he's disunited or cross-firing, in the bottom picture, the left front will be leading while the left hind will be strung out behind. Let's watch it go down entirely in slow motion. He tries to swap back to the right lead, and then he anticipates turning something on the left, so he swaps back the front on the left side to prepare for the turn. He's all out of balance. I can feel it, and so I just don't allow him to turn. I take him completely off the pattern to fix this lead behind. He's erratic. He's hollowed out in his back and he's zoomy, which is what they will do when they're out of balance. Again, he tries to swap back to the right lead before he completely changes over to the left. Let's watch it in slow motion. He's just throwing out answers, trying to find his balance now because he's looking to be physically comfortable in his own body. It doesn't feel good to them to cross fire and be unbalanced. And that's one of the reasons we get such erratic behavior in barrel horses. As soon as he gets correct, look at how much more even cadence his stride gets. He gets collected and he slows down and gets quiet in his mind and his body. I'm able to put him back on a circle here and he wants to slow down. He's settling down in his mind and body and he's even kind of wanting to lower his neck and head there. I hope this helps you put your footwork first, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.